Let me introduce you to the basic technology of the antimicrobials. Trimethoxy silopropyl dimethyl octadecyl ammonium chloride. The first part is the silane base. This silane base is the antimicrobial's anchor. It is anchored by covalent bonds which are formed readily through hydrolysis reactions that bond our antimicrobial permanently to almost any surface and allows for cross-linking and polymerization with other molecules. The second part of the molecule is its centrally located, positively charged nitrogen. This positive nitrogen plays an important role in the active nature of the antimicrobial. Cell membranes of microbes are negatively charged. When in close proximity, the microbes are drawn in towards the active surface of the antimicrobial and killed. The third segment is the edge that leads the blow to offending microbes. This long molecular chain acts like a sword that pierces the cell membrane of all microbes that come into contact with it. These three parts of the antimicrobial combine to give the Aegis microbe shield its unique and effective mode of action. Once the antimicrobial is bonded to the surface of an object, it is ready for defense. As the microbes come into contact with the surface, they are first punctured by the long molecular chain. The positive-negative attraction in between the positive nitrogen and the negative cell membrane draws the microorganism even further down on the sword. This in and of itself can end the life of a microbe, but upon contact between the negative and positive charges, the cell membrane is electrocuted and blown apart, delivering a dependable kill. In addition, since this process transfers nothing from the antimicrobial to the cell, the Aegis microbe shield stands ready for the next wave and can continue to work at full strength indefinitely.